Okay, this is an unboxing video. Um, don't know why people do unboxing videos, but we're going to do an unboxing video. This is something that I've seen, um, and anybody who knows me will know why I had to get this knife. First of all, to do my unboxing, I'm using my lovely Sword in its leather custom case, made by Sergeant Fruitcake. So, I've waited for this patiently. Didn't think it was going to arrive. Pre paid for priority meal and still nothing happened. And uh, had a text message at work today to say the package had arrived. So this is my unboxing. It's a big box with lots of paper. And I would presume that this is my present to myself. Okay, so what does it read? Correct opening method. Hold your knife as shown here. Gently twist the knife back and forth in order to loosen the knife from its sheath. So, we've got a knife. We've got a knife from Kellum Knives. It's a Kellum Wolverine. Okay. It comes in a beautifully customed leather sheath with a nice plastic liner and the uh, Wolverine name scribed on the side with the Wolverine claws and then the Kellum knife stamp on the sheath and that's just beautiful lovely sturdy really beautiful sheath this is the Wolverine a lovely little blade well made sharp to the touch it has a special uh, hardening method. I can't remember just off the top of my head exactly what it is. Um, but it means that the top part is softer than the cut, uh, which allows for a good battening. And this is my Wolverine from Kellum. You can just see. Lovely grip. Beautifully finished. Well worth the wait. Now to take it out into the woods and use it. Okay, we've just tidied up a bit before Elaine comes home and uh, tells me to clean up my mess. So, I'm sure that this is really important and I should be reading it, but no knife. Can be unboxed without a good cut test. Straight away shredding paper from the box. This is what I always get told off for at home but and definitely shaving sharp. Thank you Kellum. I'll now read the bits of paper after I've stuck them carefully back together. <laughs> 